Hey everybody, Adam here for True North Wilds with a very special unboxing. That's right, it's the return of the Simple Fishing RLM Elite box. I've been waiting a long time, six months or so now, for this box to come back. I completely understand the reasons that he took his break and I am super happy about the relaunch. I've been missing this box, it's my favorite box, no secret about that. I thought what better place to take it and open it up than my favorite lake right now, Black Lake in Nopaming Provincial Park in Manitoba. I have Neil with me, he's behind the camera right now. We've been catching a lot of fish today. We've been doing pretty good with smallmouth bass, lots of little pike. Still haven't found any of the walleye and still haven't found any really big pike. So now that the sun is out, it's late in the afternoon and the fish are starting to get a little finicky. I'm hoping we can open this up and get something to help us out. Of course, for the occasion, I'm rocking my simple fishing gear. I got the lucky hat and I have the fish bones t-shirt which I believe you can still purchase on their website. All the proceeds go towards the Canadian Food Bank Emergency Fund. So it's for a great cause. Uh, with coronavirus going on right now, of course, the food banks are really overwhelmed and they can use all the help they can get. So great cause, great product. Simplefishing.ca if you want to check out their clothing line and of course your subscriptions to the various boxes. They have pike, they have walleye, they have bass, they have multi-species. For myself, I'm getting the pike box. That's the one I'm going to be opening up today. I also get the walleye box, which I'll be doing next month because I just like the box that much that I actually got two subscriptions. Normally they come every two months, um, but I like getting a box every month and I like to show off the different uh, species that they offer. So, pike box for the month of August, their relaunch, Simple Fishing RLM Elite Pike Box. Let's open it up. I've been waiting a while for this. Let's get right into it. So right off the bat, I noticed that they have upgraded their Elite Angler magazine to a higher quality. It used to be basically just printed paper. It looked like, uh, no offense to uh, Scott who uh, was doing it, but it looked like it was just printed at home. This actually looks like it's been published. It's all glossy paper, lots of articles, pictures, all the uh, fun stuff. You will find tips and tricks and top five lists and things like that and sometimes it features some of my own content so I'm obviously a fan. We got the what's in the box card which again seems to have received an upgrade. A cool sticker which I always like stickers but let's get into the meat and potatoes. So keeping in mind this is a pike box I'll keep my what's in the box card handy to look at the values. This is all in Canadian because this is a Canadian company and so everything is in Canadian dollars which I like. First up, we have Creek Chub, world record lures. Creek Chub from LureNet.com. This is listed at 938 Canadian. Definitely an appropriate price for this size of lure for what I would expect to pay locally. Ow, very sharp hooks. This is a jointed plug style lure. So you can see it's the old school style. It's a nice carved wood. It's got this old school metal dive bill and it's sort of a squared off shape. I like the color on it, nice and simple. Red, white, classic pike colors. Uh, let's see what it says here. Doesn't have a dive depth, but I'm assuming it's not that much. This is obviously meant to be more of a surface or shallow Diving lure. Very sharp hooks. I keep poking myself. Ow. Three treble hooks. I'm not a big fan of this uh, white metal style of hook that I get on some lures. Well, remains to be seen if this will have the negatives that I've experienced with other lures, but I haven't had good experiences so far, so we'll see. But I keep poking myself, so they're obviously very sharp. So we'll see how that works. Nice wide range of motion on the joints. Um, this is definitely going to attract pike. I might actually throw this on pretty soon as we get later into the evening, as, as we go shallower into the weeds. Um, big pike will definitely go after that. And like I said, red and white, classic pike colors. Next up, we have some plastics, the Yum Money Minnows. So I've gotten these before a couple times, various boxes. Yum, of course, Yum Baits is uh, well known as a plastic and lure maker. Big, what is it, five inch? Yep, five inch rainbow trout pattern. Got all the sparkles on it. It's got a big paddle tail. If you tilt it in the light, it's got a really nice purple sheen to the white plastic. Nice green color on top. 
pale bottom, nice bait fish pattern, big eyeball, eyeballs on it, just an all around nice plastic. I've used these money minnows. Um, they have a bit of a scent and you can kind of feel it. It's pretty oily. So there's a fair bit of that scent, but just a nice big paddle tail. You put it in the water, tons and tons of action. We will definitely be using this. These actually work not just for pike, but uh, smallmouth bass on this lake will go after these and walleye. Uh, if we got into a nice walleye hole, they'll go after these for sure. So always a, always a good thing to get the yum money minnows. I actually don't have this color yet, even though I've gotten this package a couple times in different boxes. Next up, the pike bomb from Lucky Bug. Lucky Bug Lures, who I'm a big fan of. I uh, worked with them a little bit on some videos and promotions and I'm a fan of their products. I have a number of their swim baits. I don't have this one, so I'm kind of happy to get this one. Again, sharp hooks that I keep getting myself with. Uh, so this is a sinking uh, hard swim bait. What I really like about Lucky Bug's swim baits is their fabric joints always have such a nice silky smooth motion. You can go back and you can look at some of my reviews on their uh, other swim baits that I've done on my channel. And one of the things that I'm always impressed with is their silky smooth jointed action. This is no different. It's got all the joints in here. It's got that fabric. And then it's got a nice little bit of extra movement on the head. It's a pretty unique design. I don't actually uh, think that I've gotten anything quite like this. So a nice little swim bait, should work pretty well. It's a pike color. Pike are known to go after their own young uh, or not their own young, but young of the same species. Um, it's a pretty hard life for a young pike in waters like this. So if I throw this in the water, bigger pike's probably gonna try and go after it. Uh, another sticker. We got uh, just a filler item. We got some mustad hooks. I guess I should be looking at the prices as I go. So the, uh, where are we? Yum Money Minnows. Twelve eighty-seven Canadian for the pack. One, two, three. So it's a pack of four. I happen to know that those are pretty expensive in the store. I don't think they're worth that much. I usually would only go and buy those if they were on sale. So a little bit pricey for that package, um, but that is what they actually retail for. And then the Lucky Bug Pike swim bait from Lucky Bug Lures. This is fourteen ninety-nine. Again, I know that's what they sell for because I've bought things off their website, but I think for this size of lure, it should be a little bit cheaper. So again, that is the appropriate price for what's listed, but I think it is a little bit overpriced. And personally, I would wait until it goes on sale and buy it on sale. If you can get it on sale, it's a good value. Uh, must add hooks, going back to this. With a new Durasteel finish, fancy. Uh, it's hooks, it's treble hooks. Treble hooks for pike are useful. It's a pack of five and it's listed at $4.99. So yeah, five bucks Canadian for hooks. Not bad. Basically what you would expect to pay if you were to go and buy those at Cabela's Canadian Tire. Moving on, uh, Tackle Industries Mini D. I like this style of lure. This is the most expensive thing in the box no surprise tackle industry stuff that i've gotten from simple fishing before tends to be the priciest stuff in the box because it tends to be the biggest stuff in the box this is the case as well the mini d brown hitch is the color so this is a soft swim bait it's a big um i want to call it a bulldog style for some reason that name sticks out to me when you're shopping musky lures and you're looking at the bulldog musky lures very similar to this this is like a mini version of that long tail here it's a very thick plastic the tail is long but it's thick the plastic has a lot of movement to it it's very soft plastic but it's got a lot of stretch and it feels tough and pulling on the tail it doesn't feel like it's going to rip it doesn't feel like it's going to get chewed through anytime soon should be able to get some good hits on that without having to worry about changing it out right away big beefy uh ring on it big beefy eyelet and a nice big beefy treble hook and then you got the hook on top very nice lure all together has a little bit of a scent. It's got some nice white sparkles in here. The color is like a very natural brown color with a little bit of gold inside, that brown top, and then the white belly with silver sparkles to give that little bit of flash. Red on the belly. So sort of a standard natural bait fish sort of color, which actually for this water, it's a stained brown water that we're fishing in today. 
but it is very clear. You can actually see a long ways in it. If you go under the water and open your eyes, it's brown, but it's see-through brown, if that makes sense. So having something that's naturally colored, but still has a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of flash, actually works really well. So I might give this a try a little bit uh, later today when we go after some pike. Nothing wrong with that. The price uh, on that, $17.40. So $17.40, like I said, tackle industry stuff is always the most expensive stuff in the box. I think uh, if I was to go and try and buy one of those at Cabela's Canadian Tire locally, probably around what I would pay, maybe 15, 16 bucks, maybe, you know, maybe a little dollar or two cheaper. But I bet you if I go onto their website, that's exactly what it's listed for. So I think I've used Tackle Industry stuff they, for pike lures in particular, they are worth the money. That's one of the things that, even though I know it is pricey, I actually do feel they are worth the money. They're very good quality lures. When you're going after a big toothy predator like a pike, um, that's the kind of quality that you want and you don't mind paying for it. Moving on, uh, Deep Creek Lures. Four inch power shad in blue shore minnow color, a six pack scented. Eh. Scented very strongly. Ooh, that is a, a lot, that's a lot of garlic. That is more garlic than I'm going to be putting on our steak tonight <laughs> in our campsite. Um, Deep Creek Lures, so these are a nice plastic, again, nice big paddle tail. It's a lot of scent on it and it's getting all over my hands right now. A very bright blue shine in this plastic that you can see as you twist it in the light. It's got this nice sheen. The plastic itself is a clear white color, but it's got this nice blue sheen as you rotate it. It's got all this silver speckling and black speckles and some red in there and some blue. Just very, very flashy. It's a good size. It's a very beefy plastic. Paddle tail is beefy. The tail leading up to the paddle tail is beefy. And then the plastic itself is very beefy. Um, I haven't used a ton of Deep Creek lures, but I have a couple packs of them that I've been testing out as I go. And so far I've been impressed. I'm going to add this to the uh, collection that will probably um, target smallmouth bass today with these and maybe some walleye and then later on when we go after pike i'll uh, try that as well but this is actually the appropriate size for me to go after walleye and pike or walleye and bass on this lake probably what i'll use it for as far as a pike lure goes it's appropriate because of that beefy plastic and they really like that extra thump 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 of that paddle tail it really draws them in and of course pike like everything flashy so nothing wrong with that it's a good size pack, good size plastics. They are listed at Deep Creek Lure 723. That's very reasonable for that package. For that size of plastic and the beefiness and the six pack and uh, Deep Creek is a good brand from what I've seen so far. I have no problem with that price whatsoever. Last up, Liquid Mayhem. So this is really cool. I've only ever had tubes of scent from Liquid Mayhem. I've never seen plastics from them. But this package of plastics comes with a tube of scent, so that's pretty cool. The scent is Freshwater Series Fish Attractant. So the plastics themselves don't have any scent on them that I can smell. They just smell... Actually, they have a little bit of a sweet smell. So... And then you get the bonus tube of scents. That's a, that's a cool idea. I like that. I like that Liquid Mayhem is putting together a package. They're known for their scents. So if they're going to make a package of plastics, I like that they include that. That's a really, really cool idea. The plastic itself is called the Mayhem Thrust Swim Minnow in Smoke Pearl Belly Lamb. Wow. Okay. So they're five inches and then we get a five pack. Very cool. Again, paddle tail. You get that big thumping action in the water with the paddle tail. Long skinny tail. So I'm a little concerned about how durable that's going to be for a pike biting onto it. But the flip side to that is this long skinny tail is going to give you tons of action in the water. It's going to attract them from a long ways away. And then they have the flash. They have all this silver sparkle, a little bit of purple sparkles in there, some black speckling. The plastic itself is white and silver uh, with a natural bait fish pattern, dark on top, white on the bottom. It's got a bit of a ribbed body and then before you get to this long slender tail and then the, the paddle tail all in all it's a really interesting plastic and, and again this is going to be a multi-species lure for me uh or for us today this is the kind of thing that smallmouth bass are going to go after the walleye on the lake are going to go after and we'll probably most certainly get pike going after this just because of the color and that action the scent 
the scent is, oh, the scent comes out very easy. Sorry, I got that all over my finger. Uh, gross, okay. The scent is different than what the plastic smells like out of the package. So the plastic seems to come with some sort of a little bit of a sweet scent. And then the scent that you get is more of a chum. It smells like a bunch of ground up fish <laughs> is what it smells like. So a little bit of a different scent. So whether that is meant to enhance what it comes with or just give you an option, not entirely sure, but uh, I like the idea. I like that. Uh, I like that package for sure. Price wise, we're looking at Liquid Mayhem. $11 for a pack of plastics with a tube of scent. I think that's reasonable. I think that uh, that's entirely reasonable. I've used their scents before and I've reviewed them before on my channel. They work really well. I'm always really pleased to get Liquid Mayhem scents. I make use of them when I'm fishing, ice fishing in particular. Uh, so I think that's a great value. That's it. That is the first box back for the month of August, the RLM Elite Pike Box. I'm so happy to have Simple Fishing back. I can't wait to get next month's walleye box. I don't mind getting the extra subscription because I really like getting these boxes every month rather than waiting the extra the extra month. Um, I don't know what else to say. Great box. Everything that I got here is going to be useful for pike. The prices on some of the things are a little bit high, but that is what they are listed at. I happen to know that because I've looked at those items before. Whether I agree with those prices or not, um, it doesn't change the fact that that's what they're listed at. So overall, the value of this box, it's up there. It's it's a really good value. Um, we're going to put a lot of these to the test today. And hopefully, I'll be able to share some pictures on my Instagram, which you can follow us at True North Wilds, or on Facebook, facebook.com slash True North Wilds, or our blog site, truenorthwilds.com. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this box. Let me know if you're planning on resubscribing to Simple Fishing now that they're back from their break. Uh, what you think of this box and what box you're planning on getting, if any. I always like to hear what people think of what I open up and uh, my comments. While you're down there, don't forget you can like and subscribe. It really helps you out a lot for the channel. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to get back to fishing. And until next time, I'll see you outside.